Hello, in this video we'll discuss the difference between the different types of dependencies which appear in the package.json file, dependencies, dev dependencies, and pair dependencies, and also we'll see how they are installed or they appear in the node modules. So we'll do a little bit of practical example here, but after this video we'll be able to fully understand how these things are and how they work and how to use them. So before we discuss the differences between the three like the three dependencies that appear in the package.json file we need to understand that in every javascript file or in the javascript environment we don't have like a single package that everything like everything is inside it like we don't have our own app but rather we know that we have like other dependencies for example we might need like view 3 here maybe we need also like view x or like in other applications they also like maybe they need react or they need like webpack and react as well requires like other packages and also these packages would require more packages and so on so that's why we needed some way to like make it a little bit clear between these packages to know what they are depending on and what they need to work and what they expect from the host package to install inside it and that's why we had these three types of dependencies so we have dependencies we have dip dependencies and pair dependencies so dependencies are the packages that our package or our app says i would include it inside my package so in in like in this example we see that dependencies already include view tooltip that means that it says to other packages that is used that is going to use my view app v3 i would have view tooltip inside me and you don't need to include it so if you are using my package or my app in this case you don't need to also install view tooltip so it is not needed because it's already inside me so this is dependencies dev dependencies are dependencies that only needed to build my application or test it or not application but rather package so with view like view app it requires to be like uh, need to be bundled it needs to be tested needs to be done some blending so in this case we add all of these under view, uh, view de uh, dev dependencies so everything would be under this one so for example this one is a testing util so it is used for doing some testing and that's why we add it here to just define it the last one which is pair dependencies these are packages that says if you are going to install me please also install this one so our app package like our view app is a package we say like this one and there is like maybe uh like uh, maybe let's clean all of this so if we're going to do it again so maybe our view app this is a view app three that we have here and maybe it's a micro front end inside like a larger system and this large system we call it like maybe the shell it needs to import this one and this says like i don't have view inside me i wouldn't include it but rather i expect the shell to have it and that's why we define pair dependencies okay maybe the question would be okay why don't we like instead of defining it inside pair dependencies we define it inside dependencies or div dependencies so the difference is that if we are going to define it inside dependencies that means i already have view inside me so this is the actual difference like this one it says please install view like if we are going to define it with pair dependencies but using it as a dependency like here it says like it's already included you don't need to install it and that is the difference so this is uh, this answers the first question the second question which is div dependency why not define it then uh, in this case like as a div dependency and this has been in the old days before there is pair dependency they used div dependency actually to define packages that are not included in our main package uh, but the problem with this one let's maybe clear it a little so if we have our package and we have our app here and then the shell part and this shell is importing it and this is as a dev dependency the problem with dev dependency is that it is not installed traversely 
so what it means so this one requires view and it's imported as dev and this is using it so the shell would say i need app like i would import app as a dependency and then when i try to install like the app it would not install dev dependencies and when you try to run and build your shell if you don't have a way to say okay you need to import view as well in this case your app would fail but when you define it as pair dependency npm would automatically install it this is the difference like if it's installed if it's added as a dev dependency npm would not install view but if you import it as pair dependency even if you didn't install it or add it inside your shell it would still install view in key like but if there are conflicts it would do other things and we see it inside our example but this is a difference between both of them dev dependency would not install them traversely but pair dependency would install them traversely so a little bit of a quick recap before we start like go to the coding example so dependencies are things that are going to be included inside my package dev dependency would be when you just have it outside your system it's just used for testing linting and building and pair dependency it says like if there is a host app is using me as i like for example if i am an app inside the micro front end system or if i am just like maybe plugin because it exists a lot in the plugins uh, ecosystem and instead of including the view or the package inside me i expect the host to also install this one so this is the difference between the three of them and now we go to the coding example so now let's go to our view application or the testing applications that we are going to play with and let's go to view app v3 and this is the one and let's try to npm install it so what we are expecting so the first one since it's a dependency or a direct one it would install it as view tooltip dev dependency it would install it because this is still a dependency but it would not install any dev dependency under under this one or also the similar with this one and this is a pair dependency it would still install it and in case if there is any pair dependency in any one of these it would install them so let's run npm install on this one and it would take a little bit of a while to install all of them yes so let's go to the node modules so what we expect the first part we expect that we would see view tooltip installed which we see like now it's installed and if we go to package.json we see like it has a lot of stuff but also it has dev dependencies like many dev dependencies and quite few dependencies since this is a dependency and it also requires these dependencies we also would see at babel runtime low dash proper.js and viewer size we will see them installed so if we collapse this one we would see the first one babel runtime we see babel runtime it is installed we see also low dash is installed we see popper.js is installed and we also see view resize is installed if i don't see it it would be maybe like under another name but basically it would install these three things if we go to the dev dependencies we will not see at babel core because it's a dev dependency so we don't see it installed here and there are many like other Babel dependencies we don't see any of them installed and also similar with view we only see the required things to be uh, of course like view it is coming from another package but i would stop this one maybe like let's correct it so let's go get back so do we see like no roll up uh, no Babel installed we don't see any roll up installed in our system as well we don't see any of these and many other dev dependency okay let's get back to the question where is view coming from view is coming from if we go back to our i i need to close this one if we go back to our views uh, v3 that we're working on we see that we need view so if we go to view in this one we see add view and we would see the different things that is being installed uh maybe yeah maybe it's under like testing as well it will also install other stuff so if we go to testing testing utils package.json 
we see quite div dependencies all of these are not installed unless if it's installed as per dependency so we see also like view here is installed and also view here is installed so it would try to resolve which version to install and eventually it would install view if we open view we now see like view stuff and we see now the dependencies that we see under this view so basically we see the shared we see it installed here we see the compiler dom is installed compiler is if is it also installed so all of these are installed but rather dev dependencies of them is not installed this is what we expect and also what we expect like view which is a pair dependency is also installed so this is a good thing and if we go to the view tooltip like we saw i think i show it so if we go to it back again we see that it has like we said, like we said different div dependencies what we didn't have the example of a dependency that has a pair dependency inside it and that's where we go to another package that we would like to install so just to recap a little of what we said so far is that the difference between dependencies and div dependencies in this package and also the package the other part is pair dependencies if you add it here it would be installed but rather let's import a package that require a pair dependency and a good example of this there is a plugin called floating view and if we go to the floating view package.json on github let's open this one we see that it requires few dependencies this would be installed but it requires views it requires view version 3 so if I try to install it here, and since we already have view installed, it would install it correctly. But we have another application in our testing area, which is using view version 2. This has view version 2. And that's where we add the new pair dependency because our plugin here, this plugin, which add like some floating and tool tips, it needs view 3 to work. But if our application using view 2, we need some way to say, hey, stop, this is going to cause problems and you need to upgrade to view 3. So let's try to install this plugin. And basically we take the name of it, which is floating view. And let's try to first install it inside the view 3 application. So if I run npm install and send this is a package, so we just like install it finally and we run float view inside v3 and it would install perfectly because it's trying to resolve and it would find views version 3 is already there inside our system and it will not complain so if i open this one and i would see floating view is already installed inside my system and also the package.json has few dependencies which are floating view ui it's already installed here and view resize i think i like I, I might be missing it yeah here yes so we would see it also installed and view it's this is also a pair dependency it would install it it is fine these will not be installed like we see like it says eslint and so on we don't see any eslint but if we try to go up level and try to go to view app version 2 and try to install the same command again if we try to install it now it fails and this message basically says that if we check it out we see that it says hey like uh, i found that you need to like in inside like your application you are using view version 2 but inside the view like uh, the floating view plugins that we are installing or package we are installing it requires this version please try to resolve it and try to fix it and that is the beauty of using like the correct dependencies you are able to define what dependencies you need what dependencies you are expecting the ones that are using you has and also what are the dev dependencies that are not needed and this is like it acts like uh, an api basically so different users which are or who are using your packages know how to deal with them so this is the difference between the three of these dependencies final thing is that these are just metadata like they are just definitions and they are used to let npm 
install know how to install dependencies but for example if you are defining this one as a div dependency but somehow inside your index.js file or your package you are including this one directly inside your package in this case you are basically like lying to the people who are using your package you are saying i am not using them but actually you are including it inside your package and that's how, like this is where the implementation in api are the difference like this is just definition or metadata for your package but rather maybe you are doing also something wrong inside your package maybe you are saying i need view just as a pair dependency but actually are including the whole view package not just the things or the different apis that are only needed and that's where you need to like do the definitions correctly but at the same time do the implementation correctly so you don't include view but rather just create the function or the plugin that you need and only use view only like maybe for testing or just to make sure that things exist or to say to the host application please make sure you are installing this version of view so that i am as a plugin to be able to work so this is a summary of the difference between all the three if you have like uh, questions or thoughts or anything just leave them in the comment section and let's start a discussion and if you have any questions you would like to ask for future videos as well please leave them in the comment and we will make a video about them and you would see we would see you later ciao